Hello guys, it's Sunday night, Chef Drummer's in the kitchen, late at night, it's 12 o'clock here, actually 12, 17. <laughs> and I am just getting some stuff ready for dinner tomorrow, isn't that something? I am determined to get back on track. Yeah, I, I'm cooking in, in my pajamas tonight. There we go. So, don't talk about me. So, I had a chicken earlier in the week and rotisserie from a local store here. So, what I'm gonna do is to make some soup.
There we go. How is that? So thanks for tuning in. I'm Chef Taylor. Right here in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia. I was on season two, Next Level Chef. And I couldn't sleep. And I thought, let me just get something prepared for dinner for the week. So, no sense in throwing this chicken out when we could use this caucus and make some chicken soup. So we'll do that. Put that right in the pot. as I shop them. And I'm, I'm going to use basically what I have left over in the refrigerator. You know what I mean? So we'll use some celery. Not much. I think maybe maybe two or three stalks of celery. And just using some keto friendly things. Um, of course, you know, I didn't do keto um, over the weekend. But tomorrow, I gotta jump right back on keto. Full fledged. I had peach cobbler today. Oh, I just, I just went all the way, went all out, but you know, it's okay. It's okay to splurge on the weekend, and I can do that because, and I really shouldn't, but I've lost over 150 pounds doing modified keto, okay? I don't do all the crazy fats and crazy stuff, but I'm here to help you. You can always inbox me. And uh, we haven't did a keto challenge in a while. And I might set a date to do another keto challenge. Maybe, I don't know, I have to look at the calendar and see. It has to be maybe towards the middle of the month, I think. I might wait until next month. Because I've got a lot going on this month. I'm actually I'm being honored. I think on the 21st, I have to look at the, uh, I'll check the date. But um, remember to like, follow, and share. Daryl Taylor, Chef Drama, right here, Next Level. I was on Next Level Chef with uh, Gordon Ramsay. That show was really something else. I'm still talking about it two years later. <laughs> well, this hadn't been quite two years. It's been a year. There we go. So I'm just using maybe a half of an onion and all these peppers peppers that I had left over from something, who knows what. We made something the other day and we had these left over and I'm just doing a rub shop. Various peppers. I think I did, um, I can't even remember what we cooked. But whatever we cooked, these peppers were left over from that. I can't even remember. I'm always cooking something. And I'm sure it was possibly keto friendly. Remember to like, follow, and share. You can follow me on YouTube also. You'll find a lot of recipes, a lot of keto-friendly recipes on the YouTube channel. We did a 19-day keto challenge. Uh, it's been probably maybe two months ago. It's been at least two months. And um, when I find that I feel like I've picked up a few pounds, um, I jump back on a keto challenge and just do strict um, keto for maybe 
17, 18 days straight um, just to, and I really haven't gained a lot of weight, but sometimes I might pick up five or six pounds. And when I find that, I just jump back on straight keto for like a short length of time. And then I get back on the my regular way of doing keto, which is Monday through Friday. You see? That way, I don't get bored from being on this lifestyle. And I think, no, I won't say I think, I know that's what has helped me. And I'm putting my peppers, I have yellow pepper, red pepper, bell pepper, and red onion, putting it right in there. I'm gonna check and see if I have some um, Vidalia onion or some type of other onion. Because the red onion can tend to be kind of sweet. Sometimes I leave the skin on here, but I'm gonna shave it. And carrots are not keto friendly, but I'm not gonna use very many. Just a few cubes, just for flavor, for my soup. And knowing me, I might not even eat the carrots, but I want the flavor from the carrot. Now some people say flavor. Flavor is in carrots, baby. They're so pungent. And they're kind of sweet. But they're also high in carbs and sugar. So that's why they're not keto friendly. And I'm only going to use maybe one carrot in this soup. You don't have to use it here. I just like the flavor. And I'm telling you this. People might say carrots are not keto friendly, and they're not. But how many carrots are you going to eat? I'm not the one to count carbs and microbes. However, I've lost 150 something pounds on keto. You can't tell with what I have on, but I have. This was me at 298 pounds. And um, most of the weight came off the first 10 months, guys. Okay? And um, I need to talk more about this barbecue sauce. You know, of course, I developed a barbecue sauce. Let me put that on straight. There we go. I developed a keto barbecue sauce. You see it? It's kicking country keto barbecue sauce. And it's available right now on TikTok and also on Amazon. If you have Prime membership, it is free shipping. Let me move some a little closer so you can see it. Okay? Kicking Country Keto. I don't know if you can see that or not. I might need to bring it a little closer. Can you guys see it? Can you see that? Kicking Country Keto Barbecue Sauce. So, in our water, you know, I meant to get some, some um, chicken base and I forgot to get some. Let me see if I can find something to go into this. Um, I forgot to pick up some chicken base. Hang tight. Okay, I have some soy ginger chicken broth. It's not what I want to use, but it's all I have. I normally like to use a different type of base, but this, this will work. This will work just fine. It's probably pretty rich. Uh, yeah. 
I'm going to use the whole thing. Ah. Oh, that's, that's pretty, pretty rich. Something is telling me I'm not going to regret using that. Kicking country keto, baby. And this is a lemon that I had earlier. I made some tea. So I'm just going to dump this lemon right into our pot. There's no recipe. We're just playing with flavors, baby. Oh, yeah. And I am going to add Remember when everyone was on that cabbage soup diet? Well, hell, I had a cabbage in the refrigerator. Don't want it to go bad, so I'm gonna use some cabbage. Yeah, we're gonna use some of this red cabbage. Red cabbage, purple cabbage, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna use some of it in this soup. drinking cherry juice to have a little gout flare up and so cherry juice is not keto friendly but hey I gotta drink this tonight oh my god okay now we're gonna add some garlic That is gonna be absolutely amazing. Remember, like, follow, and share. And also, you can get your Kicking Country Keto Barbecue Sauce right now on Amazon and also in the TikTok shop. There's a link right below where you can just click the link, put it in your cart, and get it when you can. Something tells me you will not be sorry. Country Keto. Now, I came up with that name because originally, I live in Atlanta, Georgia, but I'm originally born and raised Memphis, Tennessee. Yes. Born and raised in Memphis. So, I know about some barbecue, baby. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you. So, that should tell you this sauce is pretty damn good. You don't have to believe me. But for a low carb, low sugar sauce, it's very peppery. And baby, it is good. And also, you know what? We need people. It's available for commission. If you want to sell it on TikTok, I'll create a post, inbox me, let us know that you're interested in being a. Uh, a vendor or a person that wants to sell it for with us, we would welcome you aboard the team, okay? I don't know how much cabbage I'm going to use. I might use a little bit more because the thing is, I don't eat enough vegetables. And I, I'm being honest with you guys. I don't eat enough. But the thing about me, if I have a soup, I will eat veggies. And I told myself, I said, self, Daryl, you got to start taking care of that kidney. You got to eat more veggies. You have to eat more veggies. And not, not just for my heart, for everything, for my body, for my mental status, for everything. And I want to live a long time. So I have to start taking better care of my temple. You know? And so do you guys. So what I tend to do, I tend to make a lot of soups. And I do that usually on a Sunday night or Monday, clean out the refrigerator and get ready for the upcoming week. And that's why I'm up late tonight making my soup 
for the week. And I, I tend to have this for lunch some days. And that's the key element of a keto-friendly lifestyle. Having things on hand so that when you get hungry, you don't just go out and grab the first thing you see and eat. Because I know how I am. When I'm hungry, I'm hungry and I'll eat whatever I see first. So having things like this on hand will help you a lot. Like soups, keto-friendly soups. So make sure you Google keto vegetables, keto fruits, and you'll find what fruits and veggies are keto friendly. And if you don't know, you can join groups on Facebook, like Keto for Beginners. There are all these different groups to help you. Or follow me, Daryl Taylor Chef Drama. All platforms, TikTok, uh, Instagram, um, my Twitter, X is Daryl Taylor 7. Also, you can go to the YouTube channel and follow me there. Okay? Um, Daryl Taylor Chef Drama on um, YouTube as well. Okay? You will not regret it. But go over and get your barbecue sauce while you can. And it's available on TikTok, Amazon, Soon, local retail outlets very, very soon, okay? And I own a catering service here in Atlanta. And it's Epicurean Drama Events. Yes, Epicurean Drama. Known all things over the top. Yeah, that's where Chef Drama comes into play. All things Chef Drama, Chef Taylor touches are always over the top. When I say over the top, we're talking florals and the whole nine yards. Everything is over the top. Yes, always. Okay, the soup is boiling. And I don't have a, a, a protein to put in this soup. Let me see. Sometimes I'll have ground beef or something. Lamb. Use whatever you have, baby. But to tell you the truth, veggie. I mean, I don't have a protein. I do have some chicken and it's frozen. I could stick that in there, but I do not. Now, what I have here, this is some cauliflower. It is frozen. I'm going to stick this in there. Some cauliflower. It's going to cook. You know how cauliflower is going to turn to mud. I'm not going to use probably... protein in here. Remember we used the, the, the roasted chicken breast. The roasted chicken we had a few days ago. I went to Publix, picked up a, a rotisserie chicken, ate off of it a few days, and boom. So the protein is already in the pot. One pot dish. You had your all your veggies. Let me see if I have some zucchini or some squash or something. Maybe I'll have those for breakfast in the morning. See, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Having key elements already ready. So in the morning, I'll get up and make me some toast. 
keto-friendly bread. Yeah, a low-carb bread or a wrap with some sugar-free jam. Okay, looks like these tomatoes have gone bad. And so this is why I like to get in here Sunday nights and cook, kind of clean the refrigerator. This is why I like to do this. On a Sunday night, it keeps me from having food to go, go bad, you know what I mean? Yes, but I have some more tomatoes somewhere. There we go. Because sometimes you just forget what you have in the refrigerator. So I have some. We got tomatoes! I don't think I have any canned tomatoes because that would be just perfect. I don't think I'm going to even cut these. These have already been rinsed before we store them. I'm just going to dump these right in the pot. Except for that one. And those will break down. And this one has a bad spot on it. And we'll just cut that right off. And this is a chicken soup. A chicken soup, baby. With ginger and... Uh, Ginger and chicken. Ginger. What was that? Ginger and what? I can't even remember. Soy ginger broth. Chicken broth. Okay. I'm doing too much. rest of this cabbage because when I look in the pot I don't really have a lot of veggies in there I thought I had a lot of um I usually do I usually have a lot of zucchini and su summer squash but I guess I've been eating eating a lot of it or cooking and eating I really haven't cooked that much this week but just been doing a lot a lot of movement traveling and the whole nine yards. So tell me where you guys are tuning in from. I'd like to know. I would love to know. Just here, why are you up at one o'clock in the morning cooking some freaking soup? Okay? Because I can and I want to. Remember, you can get your kicking country keto sauce, barbecue sauce, on Amazon, and also it's available in the TikTok shop. Yes, it's a sauce that I created being a chef, knowing I wanted to still enjoy my barbecue, doing keto lifestyle. So I created this spectacular barbecue sauce that's, a, oh my God, it's really, really amazing. Okay? You've got to get yourself some kicking country keto on the TikTok shop or Amazon. If you're prime, it's free shipping. Grab your sum, go to the link below, put it in your car, get it. Let me know you when you get it. Post something that you've cooked with it. That will really be a great help. And let us know how you like it. I need to know that. Let me know how you like it. And I'm sure you had G Hughes barbecue sauce and some other keto friendly barbecue sauces. I'll tell you what, there is no comparison to any other sauce out there. And I'm not just saying that because I created it. It's the truth, baby. It's the truth. That is it. I just gotta be honest about it. I'm gonna turn this down. Now, 
what I did not add was a little butter. And so we're gonna do that. spices that I keep. Let's see. Okay. Let me see what all we're gonna we're gonna use. Okay. Thank God it's not. 
And I might have to add a little bit more sea salt to this, but we'll see. Once I taste it, I'll know. Because remember the broth that we use has a little, a little soy and, and salt. So you don't want it to get too salty. We don't want that. One thing about it, we can always go in here and add a little salt. cheese to it once it's almost done. That has great flavor. Oh my God. I'm going to roll this back in this pantry. I'll take it out tomorrow. I normally keep that put up somewhere else. But for now, I'll leave it there. You can do so much with this soup. You can add like a cream base to it, but I'm not gonna add a cream to it simply because I'm lactose tolerant. I can't have the lactose. I can have it, but I'll pay for it later. And some of you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can have it, but do I really wanna have it? I'm telling you, I, I do not want to have the, the uh... Hi, Desi. How are you guys? Hi, Shirley. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, follow, and share Daryl Taylor Chef Drama. I was on Next Level Chef with Gordon Ramsay, Naisha Arrington, and Richard Play Season 2, uh, Next Level Chef. Okay? You can still stream it now on Hulu. Um, I'm not sure if it's on Netflix or not, but just Google Season 2 Next Level Chef and you'll see me. Of course, I was a little heavier then. Yeah, so I was once 298 pounds and I'm now, you can't tell by what I have on. I have my onesies on. Uh, but I was 298 pounds, okay? And now I'm about 150, 147, 150. Flux rate between 150, uh, 140 something. But... I joke and tell people I've never been this size since kindergarten. Okay? So, keto lifestyle can work wonders for you. Okay? So, um, I'm just waiting for our soup. I'm not going to eat it in tonight, but just know that this is what I do. I clean the refrigerator out on a, on a Sunday, you know, and I make keto-friendly uh, milk wrap. So tonight I'm just making a soup, keto-friendly uh, things, or a uh, soup that's keto-friendly. Usually I use zucchini summer squash, um, eggplant, um, Brussels sprouts, just whatever. Um, that's keto-friendly, of course. Um, not, not Brussels sprouts, I did say that. Uh, green beans, make your standard things, but Google keto-friendly veggies and keto fruits, all berries, like raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, uh, cantaloupe is keto friendly. Watermelon is really not, you can have it, eat it in moderation because of the sugar content. Anything that you know has natural sugar is not keto friendly, like peaches, cherries, all those things, bananas, oranges, apples, those are not keto friendly. They're high in carbs and sugar. So stay away from those things. These are things that have helped me these past four years, maintain my weight, losing 150 pounds, coming from 289 to now between 140, seven, try not to go over 150. 
when I found that I'm going over, I get on the keto, keto challenge with you guys. And that's really why I always do the keto challenge. When I find that I've gained three or four or five pounds, I'm like, hold up. I've got to get this back off of me. Because I don't want to go back to this weight of 298 pounds, guys. So keto can change your life. This was me also. Um, these pictures really do no justice. There are some other pictures that I have that are not too flattering. <laughs> that I was almost 300 pounds, probably over 300 pounds. And this is me doing press at about 174 um, after I did next level shift, okay? So keto, modified keto. I don't do all the cream cheese and all the butter and all that stuff. You don't have to do that. I cut sugar and natural sugar. I use a monk fruit sugar. Another sugar that I use is a whole earth sugar. You can order this on Amazon or monk fruit. I use monk fruit in the gold. In the, in the gold. Uh, there's another that's called Lakanta. L-A-T-A-N-T-A I think. Lakanta. L-A-K-A-N-T-A. -A -A. Um, you can order that on Amazon. And later this week I'll have a discount code for you to order the Lakanta. Okay? So remember to like, follow, and share Daryl Taylor, Chef Drama. And these are things that have helped me along the way. And one key element to this modified keto lifestyle is drinking lots and lots and lots of water. You see? And when I find that I cannot consume the water, I will get a meal, uh, different flavors. Um, they have grape, strawberry, cherry. Or just taking... Berries, raspberries, blueberries, oranges, not oranges, um, strawberries, berries, and flavoring your water. Even lemons and limes. Flavoring your water with fresh, natural fruit. Keto fresh fruits, okay? They must be keto. Um, uh, keto veggies and keto fruits, okay? And you'll be surprised because I was surprised when I decided to do keto. I thought, well, I'll do it. Let me tell a story. I tell this all the time. I decided to do keto because I got a kidney transplant November the 17th of 2019. And I um, had gained a lot of weight because to, to have the transplant, I did dialysis for 17 years. 17 years of my doing dialysis and never in a million years would I see my life now no I did not see my life now not being on dialysis to get him get transplant and all that and um mm, ah, anyway um got the transplant over the 17th uh, I lost some weight to have the transplant and after getting the transplant, um, I gained a lot of weight back. And so, went to the doctor for a regular checkup. And um, she said, Mr. Taylor, uh, I gained so much weight. And my doctor was like, um, you've got to get the weight off. You're pre-diabetic. And I was like, huh? And she said, well, we need to start you on the insulin. And I just went into shock. I was like, no, if you can give me 30 days, I can commit. I will get the weight off. She was like, okay, I'll give you um, 30 days. I said, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. And so she gave me six weeks. But before I left, I said, listen, can I do keto? She said, absolutely not. Keto is not an option for you. I'm like, huh? She said, no, it's not, not an option. Because you don't want to get too much protein. We don't, no, don't do it. I'm like, huh? But I knew, being a chef, that I did not have to eat all that crap. All the bacon, all that cold cut meat, all the butter, and all that crap. 
I'm like, okay. So I went back home, did my research. I would already did the research. Knowing that I could modify this keto journey to fit my body type and knowing that I was a kidney patient. Transplant recipient of a new kidney, gift of life. And I thought, well, I'm gonna do this. So I started, I committed to two weeks. And the first week, I did all my shopping, bought all the berries and all the fruits and all that, cleaned up the refrigerator, threw everything away that was not keto worthy. And I was committed because I did not want to take an insulin, I did not want to take a pill, because I watched my mother go through that. And I did not want to live that life. I had already been on dialysis. So was she. Ah, Jesus. And, um, and she passed in 2000. And um, so I knew I had to do this. So I did the keto. I guess my doctor's will. And um, omitted the sugar and the carbs for two weeks. The first week, guys. I lost like seven or eight pounds. And I was like, okay. I'm, and I was like, damn. Do you mean I have shed seven, eight pounds in a week because I didn't have sugar or carbs, bread and butter? Not butter, but, but uh, potatoes and pasta and all this shit? Are you serious? But I wasn't sold. I was like, okay, that's probably just water weight. That's what water weight. You know how we do. So I said, I'll do it another week. Let's do it another week. So I did the next week. I lost another seven or eight pounds. I'm like, well, wait, wait one damn minute. I said, no, I've been heavy all my fucking life. I've been fat. Not heavy, I've been fat all my life. I'm like, wait a minute. Do you mean I have dropped this kind of weight in a week? In two weeks, by not eating sugar, by using monthly sugar, drinking lots of water, and not, didn't feel like I was missing anything because I was eating, um, if I wanted candy, I had a sugar-free candy. Uh, if I wanted a dessert, I made a sugar-free cheesecake. Everything I used was sugar-free. Jelly, sugar-free. Uh, Duke's Mayo was the mayo I used, or avocado mayo. Replaced um, any oil with avocado oil or olive oil. Um, jam, jelly, sugar-free. Peanut butter, sugar-free, no sugar added. All those, because sugar is in everything we eat. And flour. And so, went back to the doctor six weeks, six or eight weeks later. And I walked in, I, I knew I'd lost some weight. Because I weighed. And, uh, and uh, I got there. I was so excited to see her. She walks in, and of course I had to weigh when I got there, so she knew my weight. And I thought, let me wear something short pants so my weight is accurate, you know. I'm just, I wanna let her know I've lost some weight. So she comes in, she said, Mr. Taylor, you've lost like 18 pounds. What have you done? And I looked at her straight in her eyes, and I said, keto. <laughs> She's like, no, but I knew, baby. I knew that I hadn't did anything wrong. I was eating everything in moderation. Not a lot of butter, not a lot of bacon, all that crap, no. And so they did my blood work. She did my blood work and it was perfect. I didn't have the results until I got home. I got home, I got a call from her. Mr. Taylor, baby, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because these numbers are immaculate so here I am five four years later almost five years later lost 150 something pounds on a modified keto but I only do keto Monday through Friday on the weekends I have fun you see and this is my lifestyle this is my life since um, a year or so after my transplant. It's almost five years. And most of the weight came off, guys, the first 10 months. 
I can honestly say that I lost almost 80 something pounds the first 10 months and I was sold out. I didn't want to eat no fucking bread. Uh, periodically, I would have me a barbecue sandwich because I love me some fucking barbecue. Excuse my expression. I love barbecue. Because I'm from Memphis, you know, I like blues and the barbecue. But I live in Atlanta. I've been here 25 years. But I still like barbecue. So I created this barbecue sauce. I know I jumped off on something else, but keto has been my life saving. In a sense, great grace. I mean, and the thing is this, I kept hearing about keto. I'm like, okay, Lord, what are you trying to tell me? And uh, my dear sister came to visit me here in Atlanta. And um, she came down and she lost a lot of weight. And I'm like, what did you do, big sister? She's a nutritionist. And she said to me, oh, keto. That's not what she said. She said, keto, baby. I'm like, keto? I said, well, tell, well, tell me about keto. And, she's, and she, she, she went on to say, well, I count the carbs. And I, I'm like, oh, shit. I don't, okay. I, I was totally turned off. Because she's telling me she counts the carbs. And she weighs her food and all this crap. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do that. So... I just tuned it out and I kept on going. Six months later, a dear friend, not, not even six months, maybe three or four weeks later, I went to a graduation party during COVID. It was a parade. We pull up at the young lady's house and I said, where is your mother? And she said, Daryl, she's right there. And I'm like, where? Because I'm thinking, it was not her mom, it was her, her girlfriend or a friend, and it was her mother. She had lost like 40 or 50 pounds on keto, and she was streamlined. I'm like, face was all slim and trim. I'm like, what did you do? And she looked me right into my eyes, and she said, keto, baby. I'm like, oh, okay. Same thing my sister said. I said, okay, Lord, you're speaking to me. So I knew then I had to do keto. So I came home, called my sister, and I said, tell me about this fucking keto. You got to tell me all about this keto lifestyle. And that's when I opened my ears up and my heart, everything, and I listened to everything she had to tell me. And I tuned out the fact that she was counting carbs and all that because I wasn't going to do that. And I did my research. And whenever I would go to the store, I would send her pictures and say, hey, can I have this? Can I have this? Can I have this? Can I have, can I have this? She said, no, that's too many carbs. Try to get things that are under. I was like, okay. But she helped me. And because she helped me, you know, we all, all need someone to stand in the gap for us. So I'm here to tell you that I'm here to stand in the gap for you. So whatever you need from me, I'm here to help you. Inbox me. Reach out to me. I return any inbox that I get. Okay? And I'm holding this because we're going to cook with this. This is Hearts of Palm pasta. Yeah, baby. Hearts of Palm. Made out of Hearts of Palm. This is angel hair. I'm going to put all these up so you can see them. And this is spaghetti. Hearts of Palm. Hearts of Palm. Plant based made out of the hearts of a palm. This is white rice made out of, excuse me, made out of the hearts of a palm. Okay? Come on now. Talk to me. No, that's white rice. And this is the brown rice. Hearts of a palm. You see that? And these are the lasagna noodles. You can see how lasagna. And if you don't want to use the pasta, Make your lasagna out of, out of, um, um, use, um, zucchini in summer squash and layer that. Cause I did that. And baby, when I tell you delicious, it is good. Now this is something I have not tried, but I hear it's really good. This is a mashed potato. 
and made out of hearts of palm. But another thing that I use to make mashed potatoes are, is a um, cauliflower. Take a whole cauliflower, to put it in your, in your steamer or a little water. If you don't have a steamer, put it in a little, in a, in a, a little pot of water, very little. Let it steam. Get your immersion mixer or food processor. Process it with a lot of butter and fresh garlic, a little sea salt, and slap somebody, okay? This is going to be that, that Let me grab one thing and I will be right back. Hang tight. I gotta let Snoopy out real quick. before we log off for the night. Doesn't that look good? You got your lemon in there. Oh my God. 
It's a red cabbage soup, chicken soup with soy and ginger. Oh my God. And I actually put a few eggs in there for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> so listen, my breakfast is already ready. So all I have to do tomorrow is get up. I thought I put two. Let me see if I can find. There it is. Oh, baby, yeah. I believe in meal prep on a series tip. And see, what that does for me is that keeps me on track. You see, remember, you can get your Kicking Country Keto Barbecue Sauce on Amazon and also right there in the TikTok shop. And if you're prime, it's free shipping, okay? I am going to go, but I'll tell you what, baby, this soup is going to be off the chain tomorrow. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe me. And Chef is tired. A lot of times I come down here and start cooking. And you know what? Whatever you do, make sure you drink lots and lots of water. If I don't say anything else, if you're doing this modified keto lifestyle, drink your water. That's what's going to push the waste out of your body and the toxins, all that crap. If only you knew how addicted we are to sugar. Oh, yes, we are, baby. That's what blew my mind to see that weight just fall. Do you realize how big my stomach was? See that? Oh my God. When I saw that, life changing experience, okay? Okay. And we're just, you know, I did not put any oil or, let me see, we'll use a little olive oil. I keep my olive oil in a spray bottle. probably too much, but it's all good. It's all good. As the young folk would say, it's all good, Daryl. I'm going to put just a little butter in it. Everything is good with a little butter, right? And I'm using maybe a fourth of a stick of butter. That's a lot of soup. Tomatoes are going to break down. Now, normally what I like to use is a can of tomatoes. But you know what? I didn't have any tonight. So I used the fresh tomatoes I had, and we're done. Okay? It's a wrap. Okay? Tune in tomorrow for lunch, because this is what's going to be for lunch tomorrow. Soup, maybe a salad. Yeah. Okay? So I'm going to go. Remember to like, follow, and share. You can find so many keto-friendly recipes and other recipes on my YouTube channel. That's Daryl Taylor, Chef Drama. I own a catering service here in Atlanta, Georgia. And it's Epicurean Drama, Epicurean Drama Events right here in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia. Okay? Um, you can go to our website, epicureandrama.com. Okay? I've done... A lot of celebrity influence events. I can't even name all of them. I've been on the Atlanta Housewives, Married to Medicine, uh, Your Mama Throws Down. A lot of reality shows. I've did a lot of them. But uh, hopefully, you'll go on Amazon and get my Kicking Country Keto Barbecue Sauce. And it's also available there in the TikTok shop, okay? Get it. If you're a Prime member, it's free shipping soon. Very soon and soon and soon and soon. The old song says, soon and very soon. This will be available in your local retail outlets. <laughs> and I've been singing that for many a months. But no, we're almost there. I love you and I'll see you guys again really, really soon. Until we meet again, until we cook again. Until we cook again. From my kitchen to yours, have an amazing 
morning, amazing night. I'll see you guys again real soon. Thank you. Chef Drama Chef Taylor is signing off. Thank you.